Up first this evening, a new development in the controversy surrounding the state-run oil refinery Petrojam. Petrojam's senior management and the permanent secretary in the energy ministry have been summoned to attend next week's meeting of the cabinet to respond to allegations of mismanagement at the oil refinery. This comes even as cabinet announces the appointment of new Jamaican board members following the resignation of three Petrojam board members. TVJ's Vashon Brown picks up the story. Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley was absent from the House on Tuesday where he was expected to provide answers to questions about the operations of Petrojam, matters surrounding the entity's hiring practices, how it spends its money and a high attrition rate have dominated the news in the last few weeks. Now Cabinet says it wants answers. At its meeting on Monday, it directed the Cabinet Secretary to ask his colleague in the Energy Ministry to prepare a report which should address the various allegations. A release from the Office of the Prime Minister said the report is to be ready for the next meeting of Cabinet. That could be as early as next Monday. These developments come as Cabinet approved the appointment of new board members Paul Hu, Rosie Pilner and Wayne Powell. They replaced the three Jamaican directors, Percival Badaho Singh, Richard Crary and Harold Malcolm, who resigned recently. Richard Curry, in his resignation letter dated June 18, said the board had not met in the last nine months due to the unavailability of the Venezuelan directors. He also admitted to being unaware of most of the issues that were raised until he heard them in the media. The opposition is concerned. The board not meeting even, say, three months, one quarter. That would be cause for concern because it means that the organization is without oversight. And that's the reason why you have a board in place, to provide policy guidelines, to provide oversight to make sure that the things that ought to be done are being done. Otherwise, there's no point in having a board. Mr. Jackson also argues that the resignation of the three directors is only a step in the right direction, but this does not go far enough in addressing the corruption and deepening crisis at the nation's oil refinery. If there was oversight, that oversight is very deficient, and I dare to say the height of incompetence. And here again, the Prime Minister must make, it is his call as to whether or not those incompetence meets with his satisfaction. In the meantime, President of the Private Sector Organization of Jamaica, Howard Mitchell, is also reacting. The situation at Petroleum, if the allegations are true, indicates a severe lack of prudent management on the part of the board. And we have expressed our reservations about the management of public bodies. And those reservations have not changed, notwithstanding that the Minister of Finance has announced a new policy. We think that's something has to be done quickly to deal with the management of public boards in Jamaica and to save taxpayers' money. There has been public outrage about millions paid to two firms under questionable circumstances, the human resource manager's $12 million annual salary, as well as travelling expenses incurred by the chairman. Efforts to contact Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley have been unsuccessful. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.